Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to episode number two of my Star Wars Empire at War Forces of Corruption series. You guys asked for it. You said, hey, how come you're not playing with any mods? Why don't you play with Thrawn's Revenge? So here we are. Thrawn's Revenge is obviously a post-Endor, uh, sorry, post-Galactic Civil War based mod for Empire at War. We've got lots of new factions. We've got Thrawn himself, obviously. Uh, let's see, we've got the New Republic, the Imperial Remnant, the Empire of the Hand, the Pentastar Alignment, and the Duskon League. The Pentastar Alignment and the Duskon League are rather obscure factions, but the New Republic and the Imperial Remnant are obviously not. So we're going to play maybe a couple of quick games on Coruscant or on other maps, just to kind of get a good idea of uh, how the mod works. I was going to jump straight into a actual campaign but where I haven't played this mod ever despite the fact that I'm a huge you guys know that post galactic civil war is my favorite part of legends so we're gonna jump right in I've never actually played this before but we'll see how it goes I well that was really quick um so you guys gave me some really helpful tips last time so I think I am going to be a little bit better and I did manage to win the game on medium last time although I have read that this mod does change the uh, the difficulty around a bit so we'll see but one thing I'm curious about is what other classic Star Wars games would you guys like to see on this channel I'm thinking about for example the uh, let's, let's upgrade this right away that's one thing you guys told me to do so we've got is this Tycho it is we got Tycho Selku and if that is Talon card awesome oh so you can actually upgrade your uh, your star base and create units at the same time, which you couldn't do. Put your ass foils down, come on. Which you uh, couldn't do in the base game, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna. You guys give me a lot of really helpful tips. Rush the resource asteroids. Rush the base, basically. So we're gonna do all of those things. So that's being built. Let's just go ahead, move towards the middle of the, the uh, map here. I think we just... Oh, we got a bogey. Yes, sir. Is that what's-his-name? That's um the guy from the Thrawn trilogy. Oh, Niles Farrier, I think. Is it actually? Uh, I can't tell. It definitely is. I recognize that face from the comics. Why don't you let me... Niles Farrier, it is. Wow. He's uh the guy. He's got like a smell to him that the... Uh, all the heroes recognize him because of his smell. So I think that's DP20. We're not going to want any sort of starfighter, but the uh, the wild card here should be more than sufficient to take care of it. We'll drop a starfighter, Tycho and the gang, Tycho and the boys, down next to uh, this resource asteroid, though. I think we got Farrier to back off, which is nice. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Take a drink of my drink, right into the microphone. But yeah, I've been really... Ever since I recorded this last episode, the reaction has been crazy. We got 700, I think, new subscribers to the channel yesterday, which is crazy. I mean, I did advertise it on yesterday's video, but this is clearly something that you guys want. So let me know what other games you'd like me to play. Uh, well, I've actually been talking with the uh, the creator of the this mod... I messaged him on Discord, and uh, is that an MC40? Yeah, I messaged him on Discord, and he said he's going to give me an advanced copy of the uh, the new version. Because this version we're actually playing on now is, he said, four years old, so... Crazy. So, okay, so that was blocking hyperspace jumps. we got a Mon Cal Cruiser. Very versatile. Oh, they've got a... So let's go ahead and build a DP-20 or something, if we have it. Yeah, Cronin. You guys can stay back, provide support. We'll move Tycho and the boys, as well as Card here, to protect the capital ship. We'll move up a little bit. How's Niles doing? I'm trying to remember what they say he smells like. He's like a compulsive gambler, and... They always, like, find him in these dens, and he always has this smell to him. Oh, I didn't capture that asteroid. Oops. Let's just get those B-wings over here. Alright. So those ships shouldn't... Actually, they might be a bit of an issue. Let's just... Uh, hopefully they don't destroy this 
asteroid. Hopefully that, uh... Oh, it didn't take much damage, but hopefully that thing has a bit of... Yeah, okay, it's fine. Let's see if we can take care of those interceptors, though. Okay, so we captured one. Let's just build another cheap unit just so we can... Um, build, build the Falcon. Just so we can capture that resource asteroid that got left behind. This frigate's or this carrier's done. I don't really understand the point of actually using a carrier on this map. Who's that supposed to be? Some of the legends guys I can recognize just based on their face, but other ones of the other ones, like I have no idea. I know there's like some crazy ones in this, like there's Jarek from like like the Dark Jedi from the uh the uh, what's it called? The the Jedi Knight games, and he's got his uh, fit, what's it? Vengeance Star Destroy? I can't remember the name of it. Someone correct me in the comments. So we did a good job defending this, but I'm kind of more interested right now. Let's get Talon and the uh, Smugglers Alliance up there. Got a lot of money. I think the next upgrade is at eight or four thousand points. So. Canceled. Who is that supposed to be? Can't see. Uh, oh, fell. Okay. He's got like a squad of TIE fighters or TIE interceptors, probably. All right, so let's move in here. Proceed to capture the rest of the uh, the bases. Constructing. Falcon in here. Take down this carrier. It's just a sitting duck, basically. And then we'll hit back, take a couple of their uh, asteroids, and head straight for the uh, their base. Interesting. This looks more like a Golan defense tower than a, a shipyard. Oh, that's Garan Belilis. He better not be in a dreadnought. I think he probably is. Yep, he's in the Peregrine. A Peregrine. It's very cool. So much of this stuff just comes straight from the uh, the Thrawn trilogy. So, if you guys are wondering where all these new interesting characters come from, that's the place to uh, those. That's the series to read, really. Whenever someone asks me, where should I start in Star Wars Legends, Thrawn trilogy? Without question, it's not like essential reading for a Star Wars fan, but it's basically as close as it comes. If you want to get into the old Legends universe. Hell, if you want to get into the new Legends universe, or the new Expanded Universe, I'd say man, Coruscant rotates relatively quickly. I'd say read the Thrawn trilogy, just because Timothy Zahn created so much that would, you know, go on to define the series. Everything from, like, how repulsor lifts work, and just everything, really. So many ships, so many characters, that's where Mari Jade was introduced for the first time. Talon Card. Beginning construction. Thrawn, of course. Admiral Pelion, Pelion. Alright, we're almost done upgrading here. I wonder, I'm really curious to see the ships that we get next. So the Assault Frigate. The Assault Frigate's really just a modified Dreadnought. We'll call him Garm because I'd like him to be here, but... Yeah, the Assault Frigate Marks 1 and 2 are basically just Dreadnoughts that have been changed very slightly. Let's capture these turrets too. Complete. One thing I learned last time too is it's not always best to call your units in right away. Sometimes it's better just to like hyperspace them in, especially if you've got like big units like the MCs or any large cruiser, just call them in on a fighter when they're closer to the base. Although I'm sure there's exceptions to that, like if Garm's not called in, I'm losing out on his leadership bonuses. All right, so we're basically in a position to win this pretty, pretty quickly. I don't. I know I don't need to capture this base. I don't even really know what it is, but he's got a squad of A wings with him. Very appropriate. So yeah, we could win this now. I'm just kind of curious to see the next level of units. So we've got the MC80B. Okay. 
This must be AC MC90, one of my favorite ships. The Nebula, and then the Majestic. Okay. Very good. Upgrade. And that's the... Okay, we've also got K-Wings, which I think are the silliest looking ships. Let's just build a few ships to kind of get a, get a look-see here. See how they work and what they look like. Let's we'll move these guys back. And then when ready, we'll just basically call everything in. Oops. How do I not call this in? Okay, there we go. Well, we'll end this quickly. Maybe we'll move the next, the difficulty on the next one up to, uh, to hard or medium. I mean, we're not ready for hard yet. Let's get all our forces here. Receiving message. What else would I like to see? I'd like to see the nebula. We're almost at seven thousand, so that's doable. Man, the love that's in this mod is crazy. I don't know if I said this already, but if they if they want a, a nerd to be on the, the staff for updates to provide you know further advice, well, to be honest, though, I don't think they need me. They seem to have basically everything down pat already. I am with you. Okay. I wonder if Akbar is just in home one, or if if they gave him. Like an MC90 or something. Alright, let's just. Setting course. Oh yeah, that looks like a. It's an MC90. Roger that. We're heading out. It's quite a fleet to jump in. But these bases look pretty durable. Eh, I'm doing good damage though. Right, let's just get the whole. Let's get the whole crew up here and start building some other ships. Oh yeah, the MC80B. I'd like to see that. The Nebula just finished too. Probably has some fighters with it, considering it's like a carrier hybrid. Good looking model, I will say. Doing good damage. What do you suggest? Concentrate all firepower. Concentrate all fire to that target. I don't know how much that sounds like Akbar, but it's okay. Uh okay, that's almost done. I think we've basically seen every unit, so next time we play, we'll um, try a different faction. Corellian Corvette, featured in today's video. Uh, we're not going to get to see the MC-80B. It's alright. Awesome. We lost two ships. They only they didn't field that many though. Although we took out nice Niles Farrier and uh, what's his name fell. All right, I had a slight issue there and I had to restart the recording. But uh, let's just try another match. I've set it up so I'll be the Imperial Remnant. We'll put against the Empire of the Hand just so we can kind of see all of the ships. And I will turn it on medium this time, just because I'm gonna be a badass here. It's okay if I lose. It's okay to lose. Let's uh, go ahead and start the game. Alright. So again, let's rush those asteroids. One thing I learned too is that if you're waiting for the 850 credits that you need to uh, to buy the asteroid, you're really losing out. So I'm going to try not to use too much... Um, not to waste too many credits so that happens again. Constructing. I'll have to wait to buy one, but that's not the end of the world. Building yes, Commander. Okay, let's get over here. So my philosophy in choosing ships is I basically built a Lancer because I think that they're going to have a lot of uh, fighters. And then also I've got a bomber and a defender, which should be able to also, you know, actually take on enemies. Right, let's just hold on. Move the Lancer in because there's really no reason not to. Now, why'd that happen? Okay, just move back, move back, move back. I don't want to lose anybody. Looks like a claw craft, is it? Yeah, I can tell just based on how it looks. I can tell what it is because that's just what it is. 
Okay, so I think I just upgraded my tech tree, or my tech level. Take a look at the ships we got here in just a second. I'm not calling in any acclimators throughout this game just because I hate them and I refuse to. Alright, let's Reinforcements canceled. take a look. That's the Chimera, I imagine. Nas Farrier. Cronus. Sunter. Okay. Was that a, an Imperial 2 or a Victory 2? It must be a Victory 2. Okay. Reinforcements on route. Alright, let's move up. On route. I would like to have some sort of actual cruiser, but. Reinforcements on route. It's going to be in the cards right now. Squadron standing by. Heading out. Construction complete. Yeah, they've already got one. Yeah, we don't really have any money for a cruiser. Carrick, that's just a. Uh, it's not going to help, really. We won't last long in these asteroids. Comlink active. So are they taking active damage from those asteroids now? Let's just upgrade these. Not really much else we can do. Oh, that upgrades all of them, does it, or what? That's nice. As long as we get, really, I think the key here is just securing the middle of the map. Look, they've got some, okay, I need some, we've got some boys heading down here by the looks of it. Oh, crap. You get over here. Who's that? Can't tell. Oh, crap. Things going to be taking damage quickly. Can't tell who that is. Alright, we need a... Constructing unit. Ugh, God. Interdictor. Well, that's gone. That sucks. We're on the move. Is that mine? Open fire. Okay, you guys need to focus on this larger ship. It's already taking damage from something, I don't know what. Woof. So we got kind of a good strategic, we got some good strategic Thank options right here. Um, Nowhere to go. One thing I need to do is just call in a TIE fighter so I can capture the rest of those things in the middle of the map, especially now that I've lost them. Um, probably spare these guys. I've lost that resource asteroid so I can't allow myself to become crippled economically. I think we should be able to move that Lancer in and that should help. Alright, get over here. Hurry up, will ya? I don't care, just get in there. I don't care about one lousy TIE fighter. Venator. Oh, cool. Okay, I think the Venator would actually be pretty helpful here. You gotta. Why are you scared to get in the action? Get up there. Let's at least finish this capital ship off. Setting course. Reinforcement available. We're on the move. So it seems like when you upgrade one, like one of the resource asteroids, they all sort of get upgraded. Ready for battle. Of course, I just got an interceptor sitting back here. Whoa. Uh oh. Well, that ain't good. It's not good at all. Receiving message. Vehicle in production. This is gonna be rough. Roger that. That sh that uh Corvette there is. Man, if I if I call in a uh, Venator, it's gonna get absolutely demolished by this thing. Decoding transmission. Constructing unit. Oh, let's at least call in, call it in, so we can get the fighters. Reinforcements on route. Form up. Cruiser reporting. What is that? Is that a just a? I can't tell what kind of ship that is. Is that supposed to be an Imperial too? It looks a little too big. Launching attack. Batteries online. Direct fire at their laser Man, this is rough. 
Very rough. Maybe it's not too big, I don't know. Weapons ready. The engines are our primary target. Dual heavy turbo laser, so it must be an Imperial 1. This is Imperial 2 would have those barbette the, the batteries. Yeah, my ship is taking it. Am I at least doing some damage or no? Not really. Let's just pull back. We don't need any more dead heroes. Reinforcements cancelled. Returning to your position. Reinforcements on route. This is rough. Just get out of there. Oh god. This is bad. Oh my god. This is so bad. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay, we need some serious firepower here. Should have probably just played on easy. Got a little too confident with my victory last night. Oh my goodness. Beginning construction. Reporting in. All right, well, we gotta do something, so. Receiving message. Come on, I need a few. Well, my credit income is basically nothing now. Jeez Louise. Our space station is under attack. This is crazy. My credit income, I'm getting like a buck a second. Come on, guys. Okay, you guys gotta go on your own. Maybe if I come in behind him, I can do something. Whoa, does he get me in the tractor beam, or do I have him in the tractor beam? Okay, you guys gotta go. Go on. Okay, my ships are my fighters are actually doing a bit of damage, so that's good. But it's nothing serious. Decoding transmission. Okay. I'm gonna push them back, that'd be pretty crazy, but I don't think it's possible. They've got so many ships. Look at that. I don't even know what that thing really does, but I know they're gonna get it just because they're going to. Finally got at least a bit of credit income, which is helpful. Gotta upgrade these things all over again, though. I do have absolute air superiority right now, at least. Maybe choosing the... Uh, I guess choosing the Venator wasn't a terrible idea. Okay, build, please. Wow, we're actually not doing too poorly here. Okay, you just need to get out of there. So we take down this ship. Oh no. Look at it, just wailing on me. Oh god. Please just take the ship out, will you? Construction complete. Okay, we need to build some cheap frigates to, because these fighters are coming in, and that's basically the only area area where we have any sort of advantage right now. So. Things hardly got any weapons anymore. <laughs> so much for that. I just wasted 650 bucks. 
So those ships are kind of staying back, which is Receiving fine, I guess. Constructing unit. I got it. Thrawn's about dead. Awaiting orders. And he's done, I think. Nebulon B frigate here. Location confirmed. That's not a Nebulon B, what are you saying? Decoding transmission. Okay, so that should give me a few extra fighters. Alright. Moving to attack position. Really, I don't know what to do here other than in progress. try to get my Skrilla. Thing is, I'm gonna call this ship and it's gonna be immediately just annihilated by the guns on this thing. Still think I have an advantage? Like these capital ships, they don't appear to have much in the way of anti starfighter weaponry. Is it Dreadnought? Oh, it is. Nice. So let's just go ahead and vehicle in production under control. Our lasers are gone. Watch him. He's coming around. Isn't going that poorly. If I can build some more fighters, I could be okay. Well, they, they, I bet you the main thing is their capital ships are have left this area alone. Um, I'm gonna lose this one, but. Maybe, maybe I can do something to it first. But at least I can beginning construction for the Empire. Bomber squadron reporting reinforcements on route. I just lost that. Damn. Targeting the laser systems. Target the lasers. Commencing attack run. Yes, sir. Isn't going very well. Squadron reporting. Uh. Reinforcements on route. Copy. I have the target squad in sight. Hmm. Changing course to intercept. Construction complete. Still got some decent income. Reinforcements Ready. available. Course set. Acquiring target. Asteroids ahead. Evasive maneuvers. Okay, so now we just gotta choose one to blow up. At your command. Just, you can me. attack him. The Send one of these interceptors to recapture this. Reinforcements on route. Reinforcements on route. We need something heavy, like we need something that we can actually base a push around. So I'd like to save up and get Thrawn, but I don't know. Yeah, just capture one of these guys. Hopefully the space station can actually help me here. They might be kind of foolish attacking the lasers. Attacking this thing. I don't know. Ready. Commencing attack run. So you gotta stay here. Sorry. You don't get to fight. Yes, sir. Hoping these things can actually defend. In a second, I'll be able to get Thrawn. Only non-human? Is that true? Weren't there? Well, there were at least cyborgs, I know. I guess that doesn't really count, though, does it? Alright, come on. Hurry up, please. Can you bomb this? Any Could you go any slower if you wanted? Jeez. Okay, so we're doing some damage to it, I will say. Just try to take out the guns if you can. Big boys almost here. Weapons ready. Nice. All right, it's time. Of course. I don't know what this guy's weapons are like. Oh, my cat just came in the room. He just opened the door. I thought it was closed. Shield holding up just okay? Yeah, it's fine. 
Sky Squadron. Receiving message. Is that guy turning to face? He is. So is he. Oh crap! Do you have that. To of course. I am ready. Ooh, this is a lot of firepower. I'm scared. Okay, let's back up. Back up. Back up. Oh god, this is bad. Okay, I need everybody. Ready for the kill. The lasers are our target. Oh, oh, I didn't capture this? Oh my god, this is such a disaster. Man, what a waste. I honestly thought it would last longer than that. If they somehow destroyed all of our... Okay, this is basically over. There's no way we can win this. I've learned some important lessons though. I waited too long to build like full sized cruisers. It's just. Can I just fast forward to my inevitable defeat? I'm just gonna quit this, guys. Jeez, we didn't even. The only thing we took, we took one capital ship. Can you be quiet, please? Jeez. I guess we took a few. We each lost a Thrawn. So, medium seems to be a bit too tough for me. Let's do one quick one, one more quick one. Um, let's. We didn't really get to see much of the uh, the uh, Imperial Remnant there, so we'll do one more, and then that'll be it. If we ever get put to the menu, there we go. We'll do it against the Pentastar alignment. Let's do want to try a different map. Mm, this is what we did last time. Well, let's just do the same one. Or Alderaan Defense. That looks fun. Why the Imperial Remnant is defending Alderaan? Which would have been destroyed six years earlier. Ready for it's command, a mystery to all sir. of us. Asteroids ahead. Evasive maneuvers. Alright, so there's a lot asteroids of resource ahead. asteroids, only you have to be fairly conservative with my spending. Just by... Okay. I, I know I could set. rush... Maybe I will. Head to that area. Couldn't hurt. Especially where they're just uneasy. Alright. Oh, Defender shooting already, by. geez. That's one captured. Second one is captured. Jesus, I got a cruiser already? If we could destroy this, that'd be quite a loss for them. Construction complete. I mean, it's a small cruiser, but... Building started. It's a cruiser, isn't it? Okay, so we got two here. Let's go ahead and get this one. Get this. It's almost done. Very good. There we go. What a difference easy and medium make, eh? We didn't even get to level 3 last time. Hey, don't do that. Come on. Rude. How rude. Beginning construction. The ship is better than ours. Yes, Commander. Our space station is under attack. I get a feeling this might be a bit of a domination. Let me capture you. Please. Well, there, there's some ships. Good thing we got a crap load of money. We can go ahead and just build some. Uh... Constructing unit. Oh, we didn't capture that. Whoa! It's a munificent. 
IBC Munificent or IGBC Munificent. Hmm, maybe I underestimated them, although they're not gonna have much in the way of resources. Whatever, let them do their thing. No idea how they afforded this. Man, the uh, that ship carries so much firepower. Munificent. Look, look at my income. It's crazy. I'll have Thrawn in just a second here. Yes, Commander. Bomber squad. Asteroids ahead. Be nice if I could protect these asteroids, but let's see what, how much damage a single squad of Tides can do to one. Uh, ship. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, that's, that's the actual right amount. Ready for Bomber squadron reporting. Continually impressed. I don't think it was that many in the uh, base game. Oh, he blew up me asteroid. You might as well get over there. Receive orders. Active. Upgrade in progress. Yeah, bombers are not doing a bad job. I mean, they're being harassed pretty heavily by those uh, fighters, so. Station ready. Weapons ready. Space station. This is gonna be a slaughter. What's up? Comlink active. All power to weapons. All power to weapons. That's right. You have need of my skills. All right. So that went well. <laughs> I already have a plan. Orbital command available. Tech upgrade in process. Great. Let's go ahead and Ready capture this orders. asteroid again. By asteroid mining facilities with an S, so it, is, it must be all of them. What happened? I thought I had these two captured. Orders, sir. Oh, I must not have actually built them. I must have just been close enough to them. At your command. Vehicle in production. I'm not gonna I know I could rush them most likely and win right now, but I don't really want to. Ready to receive orders. Building under Ready for command, sir. Kinda wanna see like what the rest of the units they have are. Right away. I have what are these? Are those gunboats or what? Whoa. Thought my computer turned off for a second there. I got scared pretty bad. Alright. Why can I not? Oh, it's already upgrading. That's why. Attack. Really like these small Squad scale battles. They're a lot of fun. Complete. So I've got every resource asteroid right now except one. <laughs> the base is right here. Clearly. Did I get this Ready done already? I love when you have like you 10 ships flying in formation, it looks so cool. Constructing unit. Wonder how they Roger got the, uh, if they got the size between the two ships right. The Victory and the uh, Imp 2, or Imperial ion 1 I guess available. it is. There's a lot of ion cannon shots, just a couple ships. Okay, we're almost done. So let's take a look. Let's see what level 3 brings us. So we've got a Tector, Imperial 2, Imperial 1. Oh, we got Pelion, uh, the Chimera. Isn't that what Thrawn has? Or It's kind of disappointing that they don't have more ship variety. Let's just build these ships just because we can. Yeah, I think it's kind of a waste to have, like, the Victory 1 and the Victory 2, like, I don't know. Like, they're not really unique enough to justify having both of those ship types, in my opinion. Right, let's get everybody over here. It's kind of disappointing, they don't have, like, a, a battle cruiser or anything, but whatever. I don't know what Cronus has. Vehicle in 
action. Weapons ready. Okay, my drink's finished. We're gonna ruthlessly assault this base in a second. Is this ship smaller? Receiving message. I wonder if in the uh, if in the the mod they've like changed the uh, the hero ships for the uh, remnant, so maybe there's a bit more variety or something. Cronus is almost done. Let's just build. I want to see what the tech door looks like. It should look the same, basically. Well, very minor differences. Only the trained eye would notice. <laughs> so he's got a victory. Nice looking fleet. Station ready. Okay. I don't really understand why the uh, the tech door would be that much more cost than the uh, imp 2. Like I wouldn't really, I don't really have any reason for preferring the tech door. Every ship is um, pretty much built, so we're gonna assault the. Uh, Star destroyer reporting right, in. Let's just call it in. Space station under attack. Order confirmed. Right. Choose your position wisely. Let's go ahead and just destroy this thing. Orbital command available. Call another Imperial 2, why not? Might as well do some overkill. Oh, it's red. 